sick? Yes. I don't know if I'm telegraphing comments from our own technical panel. Just the same, we will finalize our presentation on, on Sunday. But on Monday, November 19th, as last Friday, we met our own technical panel for social sciences. And the uh, director, Lolit, was there. And uh, Brenda Corpus. But our own technical panel for social sciences and communication have adopted a resolution that we will propose that we will not agree with the other technical panels. So means four years for No, we said that we don't agree that there should be a career path. <laughs> uh, the social science technical panel includes technical panel, a technical committee for for psychology, sociology, anthropology, history, economics, political science, public art, and the committee and chair communication. But what emerged as a common stand of all the chairs of the different technical committees for technical for social sciences is we said that we perhaps there is a better way rather than calling them calling it career pathways. Because at this stage children and the young people really do not have an understanding of career that they want to follow. And then the, the most vocal against technical career pathways are those from the technical community from psychology and the technical community for guidance and counseling. And they explain to us and the technical pattern for social sciences and people. In our next meeting on November 19, we will present our stand that, that we will not conform with the other technical panels in general. Okay. Well, anyway, uh, that has to be discussed at the steering committee level. No? Yeah. But what is important to remember is that uh, how do we make it more relevant to the learner? How do we make it more maybe cheaper for the learner? If you look at this, this is the it's still work in progress. No? There will still be uh, core courses no, to be offered at the uh, general education, the device general education for college. Um, but then again, as I said, that will have to be discussed at the steering committee level. Social sciences lang naman yun eh, di ba? Social sciences. Uh, Pero ang point ng mga taga psychology and guidance is that at present, even those who are already taking up their majors, they shift to other careers and to other programs. And then if you put this track in, despite career path, it would be very difficult for them to shift from one area to another because at this early age, they don't have any understanding of what career path they really want to pursue. Well, pero, alam mo, Juan, ang problema nga kasi, uh, under the current system, most of the children will be completing their secondary level at 16 which is not as still a mature age if you look at the researches. They don't know yet where, where to go in. And secondly, the system right now don't have the real guidance counseling services. But if you do have right now, then this is really part of the K-12 program. That's we should, they're looking for. Oh, pero, I mean, going back to where we are, where we are right now, it's, I don't think that's the right way to go in. Maybe because na uh, yun uh, because of these uh, current uh, problems that we're facing, no? and then uh, trying to solve it with conventional. <coughs> uh, anyway, we'll discuss that. that uh, we only have two thousand guidance counselors. That's true. Uh, that's true. That's our that's our problem, no? We need to right now. Um, the one big challenge of the digital program, once we implement it, is the the presence of a career guidance counseling or guidance counselor. Unfortunately, uh, if you look at the supply side, there's not much. We meet, some associations are, are always uh, demanding from us though, that we can, we create guidance counselors uh, items. Though. We told them, yeah, it's easy to create. 
But then again, show us the numbers. Because the problem with the creating items without any takers, that's a reflection of our inefficiency. We could not use the money that we have diba? allocated. So we told them, Sige, as long as you show us the numbers that you have the supply, then we create as we move. It's just like the principal items. We know for a fact that um, uh, not all schools, elementary schools at that, have, and even secondary schools have school health items. The reason simply is that, that there are no passers. There are few passers. So we have created, uh, what, um, last year, two years ago, we created um, about 100 items, principal items. And out of 100, less than, I think, 60%, we were able to fill up. That's why DPL went back to us. They said, hey, you have a problem of absorption. You have demanded that we create this, and yet you cannot fill it up. Anyway, I think yeah, that, that issue will have to be settled at the steering committee level. But I, my suggestion is that you have to rethink that. Um, because some of the issues that you're raising right now are current issues. Then. And then based on those current issues, we look for those solutions. Not go back to... <laughs> Please, <laughs> thank you. Pag-graduate naman ng ano, year grade 12, they are at 18 eh. Yeah. At least they have already an idea of where they want to go or which track to follow. According to them, they have studies which shows other ones. Really? Oh, because the study is based on 16, yeah. <laughs> not 18. Ah, yes, ma'am. Uh, I'd like to address this to you and to uh, Dr. Angrada. <laughs> anyway, you know about it. Um, she mentioned, as well as you did too, that there are model schools who volunteered to do K-12. How they, did they become part of your model school? Were they volunteering or did you choose them? They volunteered. Okay. Uh, is it too late for OB Montessori Professional High School to do the same? I don't think so. Uh, you can still uh, write a letter to the to the secretary yes. and, uh, uh, and this will be discussed at the state committee level. We're still okay. open to, to uh, modeling all of you this. You can do that in order. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, because we have already injected in our professional high school accounting, <coughs> law, right. cadet training, agriculture. So, all we have to do is stretch it. Yeah. Uh, thank you. Sige, ma'am. Just write us a, a letter uh, addressed to the secretary as the chair of the steering committee, and this will now be discussed at the steering committee level. So, very quick question. No, it's, it's okay. Uh, it's okay. Um, while we look at the possibility of maybe um, volunteering our programs no, as part of uh, the Red Study on K-12, and as we look forward to uh, be able to contribute also to the changing landscape of education, what then, uh, on the other hand, would be the uh, more or less benefits of uh, volunteering uh, to this program? When we have the benefit of not repeating the mistakes, once, we, once the law is passed, then it's what they get. That's why the benefit. Um, but um, you, you are also from the OB? No, no, no I'm from Erdotech. 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 It's a five year high school. Uh, precisely what I mean by that is um, uh, would, would government be willing to assist like a private school? pioneering such efforts to uh, yeah, assist the, the program eventually. You know? If you mean government financing, I don't think we are allowed to do that under the current uh, accounting and auditing rule. But the beauty of uh, a private school or private institution uh, modeling as early as now 
before it is fully implemented is that you get the benefit of uh, experiencing, the, experiencing the pains. Because once that law is passed, then we will go back to each private school, private institution offering the curriculum and then uh, withdrawing the permit to operate. That is one scenario. I said you have to look at again the curriculum. Eh? Diba, once uh, once an, uh, private, uh, enterprise uh, offers elementary or secondary, they have to go to the process of accreditation. They have to go to the process of getting a permit. And one factor there is really looking at the alignment of the offering with the standards, national standards. Okay, they're not just listening to my radio program. <laughs> no, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, um, if you still have questions or suggestions, uh, you can log on to the, I forgot the, it's, it's a K-12 secretary, yeah? Yeah, uh, you can follow us or you can uh, like us. But Facebook is follow or like? Like, uh, but Twitter? Follow, yeah. You like us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter. And there's there's also the there's also www.kwebsecretariat.gov.ph no? if you have any suggestions. Okay. Thank you. Let's give a big round of applause to Jess Mateo. Marami pong salamat. And to all of you who stayed till the very end today, marami ding salamat. Tomorrow we start at 8.30, registration and the session starts at 9. So we look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Thank you for your very active participation today. Marami pong salamat. <laughs>